Let's talk about the uniqueness of the book, Beloved Dust. There are other books that deal with spirituality and spiritual growth and prayer and so forth. Many of them make great contributions to our lives. What makes your book different? Well, by not focusing, I think, specifically on one of these elements, specifically something like prayer, when we take prayer as forms of prayer. Because a lot of times you, that can happen where, you well, let's talk about prayer. Well, what is a form of prayer? Well, you could do prayer this way or you could do prayer this way. Or, and, and then eventually it turns very specific into say these kinds of things, do it standing, do it sitting. You know, you can you know, you get all these kind of elements in there. Rather by focusing on being with God who's always with you, taking the real big picture of the Christian life, that, that the Christian life really is being with God and therefore prayer is the Christian life. Prayer isn't something we do in bedtime and at mealtime. Prayer is everything because everything's about being with God. We're, we're able to bypass some of the formal elements of just do it this way, do it this way. And, and in doing that, I think it gives a really unique angle on the book because it, it gives us a picture that is very broad in one sense, but also very practical in another sense and livable. And, and I think that that is a very... Uh, unusual. You don't really see books like this. And so it's hard to categorize in that sense. I think it would be inaccurate to say there's a book on prayer because it is much broader. It's a book on what does it mean to live with God ultimately. Yeah. I think another thing we I think, try to balance in the book, hopefully we succeed in doing, is we try to balance a real rich biblical mm. and theological exploration. There's some real depth to the book. But at the same time, we want it to be seated on the ground, practical in people's yeah. everyday lives. And I think oftentimes that's not a balance mm. that's always had uh, on this topic. Mm. And so our hope is that we're given really a sturdy backbone to the practical implications we're drawing for folks biblically and theologically, but that we're not just leaving them there, that we're, we're pulling this all the way into day-to-day -day life, into the experience of prayer that we all know, into the challenges of prayer that we all face. And so I think it's that balance that makes our book somewhat unique as well. Mm.